Hello, my dear student. How are you? I hope you all fine and your family. I am Miss Amal. I will teach you science. Okay. In this term, we will talk about three units. The first unit is called matter and its construction. Matter and its construction. And the second unit will be energy. So we will talk about the energy resources and forms and transformation and the types of energy. But the last unit in this term, diversity and adaptation in living organisms. Okay, today we will talk about the first lesson in unit one, which is called matter and its characteristics. First, let's clarify the meaning of the word characteristics. Characteristics, it comes from character. So I said matter and its characteristics. It means we will talk about the character of the matter. So what are the characters of the matter or the properties of the matter? So as we said, huh? characters or characteristics, it means what? It means properties. It means properties. So we will talk about the character of the matter or matter and its characteristics or properties of the matter. Okay. Okay. So we know that what is matter? All of us know the meaning of the word the matter. We talked about it in fourth primary and in sixth primary. So Everything around us is called what? Is called matter, yes. So everything around us is called matter, is called matter. And we know the meaning of the word matter. And now we will start with the definition of the matter. So what is matter? Matter is anything or everything that has Number one, it has mass. Number two, it has volume. So any matter or anything around us has mass and volume. Has mass and volume, such as bottle of water, such as table, such as laptop, such as pencil case, and so on. All of these objects are called matter, and they have huh, mass and volume. So matter is, huh, again, Anything that has mass, yes, huh, and volume, or anything that has mass, and we can replace the word volume by using occupies a space. So, matter is anything that has mass and volume, or anything that has mass and occupies or takes space. Okay, is it clear? So, again, matter is, huh, anything that has mass and volume anything that has mass and volume and now let's clarify the meaning or the concept of mass and volume let's clarify the meaning of mass and volume and we talked about it also in course and six primary ha, mass yes mass mass is what Yes, we talked about it before, as we said, mass is huh, the amount, mass is the amount of matter that the body contains, mass is the amount of matter in an object, the amount of matter in an object, how come, if you have, for example, a pencil case, and inside this pencil case, there are many things such as pencils, rubbers, colors, huh, and so on. Okay, so all things, all of these inside the pencil case, huh, called what? Called amount of matter, called what? Amount of matter. So the amount of matter inside the pencil case, huh? Rubbers, huh? Colors, pencils, pens, and so on. So everything inside the object is called what you lead is called amount of matter. So mass is amount of matter, or mass is everything or anything inside the object. Okay, is it clear? Number two, the volume. Huh? What is the volume? The volume is the space, the space that's taken by this object the space occupies or takes by the object occupies it means 
huh? takes by the object. So, if we have, for example, this object, so the space that's taken by it is called what, ya ulad? Is called, huh? Is called volume. So, as we said, matter is anything or everything that has mass and also has volume. Mass is amount of matter and the volume is the space that's taken by what? By the matter. Okay? And now, huh? today we will talk about a new point. A new point. We are in first prep. يعني إحنا خلاص كبرنا شوية. نأخذ بقى حاجات مختلفة شوية. Today we will talk about how can you differentiate between matters. How can you differentiate between matters? Differentiate, it means what? Huh? Distinguish. Or it means to know, huh? To know the difference. To know the difference. To know what you let to know the difference. So, huh? How can you differentiate or how can you know the difference between matters? How come? If you have two objects and I'm asking you to tell me about the difference between them. How come? And now we will talk about how can you differentiate between the matters. Okay? Number one, we can differentiate, we can differentiate between matters, we can differentiate between matters by using number one, physical characteristics. Number one, physical characteristics. Number two, chemical characteristics. You, uh, we can, if I ask you, how can you differentiate between matters? So you will answer, we can differentiate between matters by physical characteristics or physical properties and chemical characteristics or chemical properties number one physical characteristics number one huh in physical characteristics number one the color taste and smell huh number one huh color taste and smell yes number two density or density number three melting point number four boiling point five hardness six electric conductivity and the last property from the physical properties is called the thermal conductivity okay number two chemical characteristics or chemical huh yes chemical properties number one so we we classify the matters into three types. We classify or materials are classified into three types. The first type is called very active materials. Number two, less active materials. Number three, inactive materials. So here we will in this part, in this part that chemical characteristics, we clarify the chemical characteristics by classification the materials or the materials are classified into three types of reactive metals and we will talk about it and less active materials and inactive materials okay very active less active and inactive okay and now let's talk about let's talk about what let's talk about the first property from the physical properties or the physical characteristics that use the two differentiate between different matter or different materials number one the color taste and smell number one huh? color taste and smell color taste and smell let's talk about the first point which is called color according to the color we can use color to differentiate between two substances and they are different in their colors they are different in their colors it's very easy i can differentiate between them because they are different in the color so can we use the property color to differentiate between two materials or two substances or the same color or they have the same color no yes excellent so we can't use the color to differentiate between two substances and they have the same color but they must huh? they must be different in color such as 
silver and gold or or what or silver and iron or gold and iron we can differentiate between them by using the property of color the property of what the property of color and now i will talk about the first point color taste and smell color we can use the color to differentiate between iron silver and gold okay so if we have two pieces of gold and silver or iron and i'm asking you to differentiate between them so you will differentiate between them by using the color okay number two taste number two the taste number two the taste how can you differentiate between two substances by using the taste huh and the two substances are similar in color. We can't use color, huh? Why? Because they have the same color, such as what? Such as table salt, the salt, okay? And sugar. So if we have two quantities, two amounts of sugar and table salt, and I'm asking you to differentiate between them. So you will say how uh, they are the same color. So I can't use the color property to differentiate between them. Excellent. So how can you differentiate between them? I can differentiate between them by using a uh, taste by using what by using the taste so we can differentiate between table salt or salt and sugar huh they have the same color we can't use color but we can use what you let taste we can use taste so if i ask you complete we can use a space to differentiate between sugar and salt huh we will use taste number two we will use a space to differentiate between silver and gold we will use what color okay number three smell i said color taste and the smell we talked about color and taste let's talk about the smell if we have two quantities of vinegar and perfume okay vinegar and perfume okay and we want to differentiate between them imagine they have the same color so we can't use the color so we can use the taste no we can't use the taste okay but we will use what we will use smell so oil vinegar perfume we can differentiate between them by using the physical property smell so huh, space is used to differentiate between vinegar and perfume smell space is used to differentiate between sugar and table salt taste space is used to differentiate between silver and gold color okay is it clear it's very easy and now let's talk about the second physical property the second physical property the second physical property is called density or density okay first i will ask you before explaining the concept or to clarify the concept of density we have to do this experiment we have to do this experiment first if we have some materials if we have some materials such as wood uh, nail coin cork oil ice and water and we want to know the density of these substance first i will get basin of water like this and put everything inside this basin what will happen we can observe what we can observe that wood cork oil and ice float on water huh? float on water on the outer surface of the water like this okay but the nail sink in water and the coin sink in water they are heavy okay but huh, wood cork ice and oil huh, float on water float on water okay so by this way we can observe that we can observe that cork wood oil and ice float 
because they have lower density than water so we have some substances float on water and we have other substances sink in water the substances that float on water the substances that float on water they have density less than water less than water or less than one by knowing that the density of water equal one the density of water equal one so what is the density what is the density what is the density the density the density is what the density is the mass per unit volume density is huh density is the mass of unit volume or the mass per unit volume the unit volume it means huh one cubic centimeter of matter so the mass huh of unit volume or the mass divided volume equal what equal density so if you want to know the density of any substance so you must have its mass and divide it huh, over its volume so you can get its density you can get its density so density it is the mass of unit volume the mass of unit volume of a matter so density equal huh density equal mass divided volume mass divided volume the unit of mass huh? the small unit of mass gram and the volume cubic centimeter so the unit of density equal gram per cubic centimeter gram per cubic centimeter gram per cubic centimeter again density is what huh? density is huh? the mass of unit volume unit volume it means what unit volume it means cubic centimeter unit volume it means cubic centimeter so cubic centimeter is the unit of volume i said mass and the volume so density is huh, relation between mass and the volume how come huh, mass divided volume it means density so density is the relation between what you let so if i ask you huh, the relation between mass and volume yes density so density is relation between mass and the volume so if we have mass huh, and the volume so we can get the density of the substance the density of the substance so again density it is the mass of unit volume the mass of unit volume unit volume is cubic centimeter so density is the mass of unit volume one cubic centimeter of a matter and density i said mass volume mass and volume so mass divided volume equal what equal density equal what equal density okay is it clear again mass equal uh, ma uh, so uh, density is the mass of unit volume and the density mass divided volume if i ask you inshallah بعد ما اخلص شرح هحل لكم problems كتيرة جدا على density باذن الله بس حاليا يعني انا كل اللي انا عايزاه منكم ان انتوا يعني إيه تفهموا what is the meaning of the density as we said density is the mass of unit volume the mass of unit volume or ha, the mass per unit volume or the mass of one cubic centimeter of a matter so density equal mass divided volume and its unit gram Huh? per cubic centimeter gram is the unit of mass and the cubic centimeter is the unit of volume and i said density equal mass divided volume so gram per cubic centimeter is the unit of density the unit of density again if i ask you write the scientific term write the scientific term the mass of unit volume of a matter it will be what it will be density ha huh? complete density equal mass divided volume density equal mass divided volume so complete also uh, the measuring unit of density is gram per cubic centimeter gram per cubic centimeter okay let's complete 
our activity. When we put the amount of water in the basin and put the different materials such as wood cork and the oil and the coin and nails, so we can observe that the wood and cork float in water and also oil and ice float in water, but coins, but coin and nail sink in water sink in water sink in water why why if i ask you give reason how uh, wood float in water and nail sink in water wood float in water because the density of wood is smaller than water smaller than water or less than the density of water but nail sink in water because the density of nail is higher or greater than the density of water so what is the density of water the density of water equal one gram per cubic centimeter huh. gram per cubic centimeter so the density of water equal what you let equal one gram per cubic centimeter and everything less than one float in water anything anything uh, such as wood cork uh, oil and ice and ice floats in water why because they have density less than one or because they have density less than the density of water but nail coin huh sink in water because they have density more than one okay or higher than the density of water okay is it clear and now substances of density less than the water as i said huh substances of density less than water density float on water surface so the substances that have small density than water or their density less than one or their density less than the density of water they float on water okay but while others substances of density more than that of water sink so if we have some substance huh such as oil, cork, uh, and ice, huh? and other substances such as coin and nail, and put them in water. The substances that have less density, or that have density less than the water, will float in water. Will float in water. But the substances that have more density than water or higher than water, it will sink. Okay, is it clear? And equal, equal masses of different substances have different volumes. Also, the equal volumes of different substances have different masses type. This because what? Because of their different density. Because of different density. Okay. It's a very easy lesson. So here, this activity clarify also the concept of density. If we have three different substances such as the first substance is iron number two cork number three wood and put them on uh, balance sensitive balance as you said or common balance any balance okay so look at the following figures then show the mass of equal volumes of different substances here we have equal volumes but they are different substances so the masses will be equal no the masses will be different also so here we have for example the mass will be three and here the mass will be two and here the mass will be one so they have the same volumes but they don't have the same masses okay why because huh, they have different density they have what they have different density the iron huh, the iron has higher mass than cork and the cork has higher than higher mass than wood because the mass of iron 
is greater than the mass of cork and the mass of cork is greater or higher than the mass of wood although they are have or they have the same volume the same volume but they are different substance but they are different substance so the mass of equal volumes of different substances have different what have different masses so the density in iron, the density of iron is greater than the density of cork, and the density of cork is greater than the density of wood because iron has higher mass than cork, and cork has higher mass than wood. So there is, huh, there is a direct relationship. There is a direct relationship here in this activity. There is a direct relationship between the mass of the matter and its density. By increasing the mass, the density increase. And by decreasing the mass, huh, the density what? The density decrease. So there is a direct relationship between, again, huh, there is a direct relationship between the density and the mass. By increasing the mass, as we said, the iron has higher, huh, higher mass, so it has higher density, okay? Huh? And the cork has higher huh, mass than wood, so it has higher density than wood, huh, due to its mass. Okay, so there is a direct relationship between the density and what you led and the mass. It means by increasing the mass, the density increase. So again, density, it is the mass of unit volume of a substance or it is huh, the mass of one cubic centimeter of a substance. And density equal mass divided volume. And it's measuring unit gram per cubic centimeter. Gram per cubic centimeter. Here we have different substances. We have different substances. Solid, liquid, and gas. Solid, liquid, and gas. Here, look at the first one. Add one, two, three. Look at the first one. The first one, huh? the first one, solid or the solid substance, any solid substance, any solid substance consists of molecules. Any substance, uh, uh, the next lesson, uh, inshallah, we will talk about with the molecules. So, any substance, any solid substance or any substance around us huh, consists of molecules, but the solid has more molecules like this. The molecules beside each other like this. Huh? Like this. So we have in solid density more than liquid. Look at the liquid substance. Huh? There are spaces between the molecules. So the density of the solid. Huh? The density of solid, it has more molecules. The density of solid is greater than the density of the liquid. And the density of liquid is more than the density of what? Of gas. Huh? So, huh? here we have different substances, solid, liquid, gas. If I ask you again, huh? which one of them has higher density? Which one of them has higher density? Yes. Huh? Number one, اللي هو mean solid state. Okay, is it clear? So the density, if you want to calculate the next uh, session, inshallah, the next uh, video, I will explain how to calculate the problems of density and the, the questions of give reason and what will happen here. Huh? Relation between uh, mass, volume, and density. The mass, volume, and density. If you want to, to calculate the density, the density, huh? the density equal what you will The density, huh? density equal mass divided volume. The density equal mass divided volume. If you want to, to calculate the mass, Huh? Volume divided density. And if you want to calculate the volume, huh? it will be mass divided density. Mass divided density. It's very easy. Yani, 
الدنيا سهله خالص يعني الحمد لله and now let's talk about the life application let's talk about the life application of the dynasty the life application of the dynasty the life application of dynasty life application or the uses or the importance of dynasty life application it means the importance of dynasty in our life number one water is not used in extinguishing petrol fire petrol fire اللي هي حرائق البترول ها because petroleum oil floats over water surface okay يعني لو في عندنا petrol fire like this and you want to put it out so we can't use water we can't use water why because the density of petrol the density of petrol oil or petroleum oil huh, less than the density of water huh, so the oil will huh, float on water and huh, the fire can't end hmm. and we can't control it so we can't use water to huh, put out or put off the fire why because the density of petroleum oil is less than the density of water you have petroleum it's a density less than huh, the density of water or less than one so the oil will float on the outer surface of the water so i can't extinguish this fire number two balloons filled with hydrogen and helium rise upward carrying carrying what huh? carrying flags during festivals since their density are lighter than of water so we will use helium and hydrogen to fill the what huh? to fill the balloons why because they have less density than the density of the air okay like this huh? helium and hydrogen helium and what and the hydrogen huh, rise up huh, because their density less than the density of water so again if i ask you give reason water cannot be used to put out petrol fire again water cannot be used to put out petrol fire why because the density of petrol fire oh sorry because the density of petrol oil or petroleum oil is less than the density of water so the petroleum oil will float in water وتفضل برضو الحريقه شغاله مستحيله تطفي يعني number two balloons filled with hydrogen or helium rise upward carrying flags during festivals why because the density of helium and the hydrogen huh, less than the density of air less than the density of air خفيف جدا يعني okay ان شاء الله بقى كل الكويستشنز كل ال what will happen ال give reasons كل الحاجات دي باذن الله يعني هنزلها لكم ان شاء الله يعني اتمنى ان انتوا تكونوا فهمتوا طبعا يعني تعليم عن بعد ده حاجه يعني ربنا يعدى على خير يعني we talked about again we talked about matter and its characteristics as we said matter is anything that has mass and volume and we took the mass huh? we talked about the mass and volume and we talked about how can you differentiate between matters i said we can differentiate between them by using the physical characteristics and the chemical huh? characteristics uh, the physical number one color taste smell and we talked about it Huh? Number two, we talked about the density. We talked about what? The density. And we said huh? some substances float in water because huh? they have smaller density or density less than the density of water. Uh, with density of water equal one gram per cubic centimeter. Okay. And we said uh, solid uh, solids have... Uh, more density than liquids and the liquids have more density than water than uh, gas as the uh, the number of molecules in solids uh, more than liquids and also more than in gas
and we talked about the life application of the dentist. Okay, thank you for your listening.